queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. Rachel and I, we know each other. Sir? The queen bitch you're referring to is his wife. Nice work, hotshot. Ashley Tisdale, welcome. Now, Ashley plays Rachel in Supermassive Games' Dark Pictures Anthology's House of Ashes. All right, Ashley, what can you tell me about your character? My character, Rachel, is a CIA operative, mm -hmm. and it is taking place in 2003 in the Gulf War, and she is on a mission to find chemical weapons, so she's pretty badass. Wow. This is your first time doing a video game. This is my first time, yeah. Wow. So how does that process compare to maybe the stuff that you've done you know, on, on camera before? I think that it's just very obviously a different approach to it. I do a lot of voiceover for animation series, so I would say it's more in line yeah, with that because you're in a studio all day and it's like you and the script and then also like some of the other characters, but it's just like kind of going through it really fast versus, you know, one scene on a TV show or a movie could take like an hour to two hours, so you're constantly going through it. It's a really long process but it's cool, it's different. You're wearing like heavy machinery on your head <laughs> and it's like getting all of your facial expressions. So it's pretty crazy. You can just be like completely like so muscular by the time you're done, your neck will be. <laughs> <I know. laughs> My neck this. is super strong. <laughs> yeah, the strongest neck ever now. <laughs> yeah. And, and how do you prepare for something like that then? I feel like is the, the script, it's not maybe necessarily you're preparing for particular scenes, everything is so varied. Like how, do, how do you really kind of get ready for it? I pretty much, you know, obviously read the script beforehand, but I don't spend a lot of time on it like I would another script, like either with a movie or a TV, because it's the same thing of how I approach animations, is that I know when I'm here, I'm gonna be with the director, and they're gonna have me do it like multiple different ways, because there is multiple different directions the character can go. So if I were to fully prepare, I would m maybe like put myself in this like, well, it's got to be this way. And I want to feel free to like be able to have them say, do it more sympathetic and do it more angry. And so I kind of don't fully prepare. I just know who the character is. And as long as I know the intention of what I'm saying, then I'm good. What is it? The guy who served me, I don't know. He was looking at me pretty strange. Uh, probably doesn't get to see a woman like you around these parts very often. Especially one that's showered. But with any series or, or film, there's just that one linear path for your character. Yeah. And with this, you have the option of there's living out many the different multiple. Arcs. <laughs> yeah, how do you kind of keep it all straight or keep a, you know, a continuity be, with your character through all that? Honestly, I don't even remember half of it. <laughs> um, you know, I think it's just obviously relying on the director. And the guys at Super Massive, they're just really great at knowing where we are in the storyline. And so it's just heavily trusting them. <laughs> and, yeah. and then, you know, just kind of knowing, yeah, that it's just gonna go. I can't, you know, like there's just so many different areas that it can go. And I could die in one of the things and I could become a vampire. I can mm -hmm. like live. It's just like, it's so crazy how opposite. It's got to be interesting, too, to think that someone's going to, like, play you in a game and then maybe you'll die or you'll live or you'll... Yeah. Like, the people will be in control of your of your future. I know. I think it's going to be really crazy just seeing my face on, like, the character, you know? Like, mm -hmm. that's going to be so wild. It's so crazy how far video games have come. It's so much more cinematic and like the movies that it's pretty wild. It's, like, beautiful to watch, but um, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> Now, I guess we have a couple rapid fire questions that I'd like to, to hit you with as well. Okay, ready for this? I'm okay, ready. so bitten by a vampire or buried alive? Oof. Yeah, bitten by a vampire. Oh, really? Well, then you get to live forever, so, you know. That is, that is <laughs> true. Okay, I never thought of that, that element of it. Things that you've shot so far, do you have a, a favorite scene? I think my favorite scene would have to be um, probably early on, between Rachel and her husband. It's a flashback and it's them in the car. And um, it's a moment in time that kind of changes everything. And what I love about it is that it really shows who Rachel was and how it changed her to become who she is today. There's just so much happening in the game that it's just like a moment where it's just like really kind of stripped down and one-on-one. -on -one, and I think it's a really beautiful scene. What is it? The guy who served me, 
I, I don't know. He was just looking at me pretty strange. You know, my sole objective, Rach, is to make you happy. Doesn't matter where we are or what we're going through, I'll always put a smile on your face. <laughs> See, I told you. So how do you get into that? Because I feel like, you know, it's, it's, it's sometimes it's such a sudden change from one scene to the next. So how do you kind of really get into that moment so quickly? I think how we've done it is that we would start off with the earlier stuff. Okay. So it's kind of like you're building to the bigger pieces. And um, yeah, usually the end of the day, we'll have like the biggest stuff, whether that's us like screaming and fighting because it obviously drains yeah. us and our vocals. So, you know, they know to kind of like have us do the whole like action stuff at the very end of the day. They're breaking through the perimeter. You got any bright ideas? Has a time. <laughs> really odd of being like, okay, now we're gonna be sweet, and now we're gonna be screaming. It's and hard you're to gonna go dying, backwards. And yeah. You're gonna be back alive again, <laughs> yeah. and this is a touching moment, and you're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, the first time is gonna be like a strange experience, kind of going off on your own and, and, and acting out that kind of yeah. separate. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a very interesting process to watch, and it's different from anything I've ever done. Has it been hard to navigate doorways with the camera on? Like, do you find? Your... Oh no, I take them off right away. Okay. Anytime I can get a break, because it is a heavy thing, and so it's just like most of the time I'm sitting on the couch with it, like holding the helmet up, because it's like, you know, it's it's like a weight on your head. Oh, so yeah. it's pretty crazy. It's expensive equipment. You don't want to like bang it no. on a door frame. No. Well, now that they've got you in the game, they can put you in anything. I know. I'm so excited because I've never been able to play something like this. Yeah, okay. Well, that's good. Cool. Thank you.